what's good y'all it's boy ross back at again with another video so i wanted to talk about this because this has obviously been on a lot of people's minds after money in the bank there's been a lot that's been uh circulating on twitter on youtube on people's opinions on how they felt about money in the bank in the whole and the one major point outside of jay uso Penn, and roman reigns is la knight not winning money in the bank this year i know a lot of people were disappointed i know some people were you know actually upset about this and, and felt like the show was a complete miss parts uh in part because of this booking decision uh, i believe even triple h came out uh, uh for the press conference after after the uh the show saying la Knight's in pretty much in good hands the story is just starting for la Knight, you know so it's not the end of his you know ascension pretty much in central uh well pretty much that's what he was saying like they they have some other plans for la Knight, and honestly when it initially happened of course crowd wanted it everybody in the chat wanted it we wanted it you know and uh they really did tease it as if he's really gonna pull it off but ultimately they gave it gave it to damian priest now for me it was i just didn't want logan paul to get it that's one thing the rumors of logan getting it definitely was quite terrifying so i didn't want logan paul to get it but Damian Priest, I'm okay with. I know there's some people that feel like Damian Priest shouldn't be in that position. Or, you know, so there's some people that still really don't see, you know, the hype for Damian Priest. Or they, they're still not getting that connection that Damian Priest is a potential main event guy. Me personally, I think him joining Judgment Day definitely helped his career, enhanced his career. Um, he's had some pretty good matches and he just seems like a believable guy he, on the microphone he comes off confident you know i remember when they first was doing the heel promos it's like you really couldn't buy into what he was saying because he was really there to support edge and what he was going to do with these guys but it seems like he's gotten more confidence and it seems like you know he comes off as a little bit more of the leader in judgment day and i think they went more so with building storyline between him and Finn Balor. I think that's the route why they all ultimately gave him the uh the belt is well not the belt, the um the money in the bank briefcase because they want to build a story with that, which I'm okay with. Building a story that involves the money in the bank briefcase, I'm all for it. I think we need, you know, they need to start bringing those back. You know, bringing the aspect of not just winning a briefcase and then cashing it in so quickly, building a storyline with it, especially with him being in faction and what he may end up doing. You know, what I'm saying maybe cost him Finn Balor um, the uh, the championship. I mean, he ultimately did at Money in the Bank, but I'm sure Finn Balor is going to try to maybe get a rematch of some sort. And I don't know, they can do some things there. So I understand why they gave it to Damian Priest, and plus he's he's been their guy. You know, he definitely did help um, these guys, uh, well, help the company and, you know, overall when they had their match with him and Bad Bunny at, uh, at Backlash this year and just, you know, helping him carry Bunny to a, a very good match. And I'm pretty sure management is, you know, appreciate what he's done for the company so far. So I can understand them giving him you know, warding him the briefcase. I have no problem with that. I know some people don't. But back to LA Knight. With what Triple H said, and of course the disappointment to a lot of fans out there, I do think that they do have something planned for him. If he would have won it, which I think a lot of people would have liked, obviously the only person who would have made sense for him to cash it in on is Seth Rollins, which is on Monday Night Raw. They obviously want to keep him on SmackDown. So that's probably maybe one out, one reason why they didn't want to do that because we like LA Knight. And I'm sure some people would have been all for him trying to cash in on Roman Reigns, but we don't want LA Knight to cash in and fail. We would want him to cash in and actually win it. And the only person that would have made sense for is Seth Rollins because Roman Reigns is not losing his title to a cash in no matter how over that person is so the immediate thing that i think a lot of people have been thinking about a lot of people have been talking about and then they could possibly do it since 
Austin Theory, you're the United States champion, is on SmackDown. We get some type of feud set up, some type of scenario where we get LA Knight facing Austin Theory as the uh, for the United States Championship. Now, I get it. A heel versus heel dynamic is very rare, but it can be done correctly. Honestly, whoever faces LA Knight, they're going to be a heel in that situation, no matter if they're a face themselves. LA Knight is still over. I know some people think all oh, his momentum has died. He's not going to be as over because he didn't win. No, I don't think so. I think he's still going to be over, but you got to put him in a situation where people want to see him win. And I think a lot of us will be a-okay with LA Knight becoming the United States champion and beating Austin Theory. Austin Theory's title reign for a lot of people, including myself, hasn't really been hitting. I don't know. It's, you know, it's not even that the opponents are bad or anything like that. It's just it hasn't been hitting. It's just been kind of even the match he had with John Cena was just kind of there. You know what I'm saying? It happened. John Cena did the job for him. And then that was it. So, honestly, for me, and I think a lot of other people, I I think drop Austin Theory dropping the title to someone that could actually bring a little bit more hype to that to that particular championship would be Austin Theory. I mean, not Austin Theory, uh, LA Knight. I think LA Knight being the United States champion would be a great look for the United States Championship because now people care about the person that's holding the title. I think a lot of people don't really too much care. They're indifferent with Austin Theory holding the United States Championship. It's like, oh, okay. But I think with LA Knight holding the United States Championship, now you can get something going. And once again, it's a heel versus heel dynamic. But we all know if LA Knight is in a championship match with Austin Theory, He's going to be the overwhelming favorite. And I think they need to set this up for SummerSlam. That would be a very good, high-profile match for him. I don't know how they get, get him into the match. Maybe have a tournament, a United States Championship tournament, whatever, and have him go through the ranks. You know, have him beat people all the way to the finals and then, you know what I'm saying, set up a few, you know, have them have little promo battles back and forth set it up for SummerSlam and give the fans a good feel moment at a one no a very good feel moment at SummerSlam. Once again, he's still a heel, but it doesn't matter. People love him. People think he's charismatic. People love his energy that he brings. He has a great catchphrase. People want to see LA Knight as the United States champion. And from there build off of it. Have him be a dominant you can still have him be a heel. I would not change him at all. I would not make him a squeaky clean baby face. I would have him be a heel. Be a cocky, arrogant heel. You guys remember when The Rock was in Nation of Domination and he was this cocky, arrogant heel as the Intercontinental Champion? That's exactly what I would do. That's what I would do with Austin Theory. Have him, not Austin Theory, LA Knight. Have him be a cocky, arrogant, but entertaining heel. You can have him have some matches as the champion with some of the mid-card talent and still have him win. And people will still buy into it. You know, you can even have him cheat. People will still buy into it because he's that entertaining. Make that championship once again a championship where people actually care about the matches and care about who's facing who. Like, obviously, by default, LA Knight holding that United States Championship is going to make more people actually care about it than they already do right now. We see what it happens. You see what the Intercontinental Championship is looking like in Gunther's hands. It's been looking the best since, I don't know, when's the last time, in my personal opinion, the Intercontinental Championship has looked this good. Maybe when The Miz had it at one point during this, uh, close to like the SmackDown Live era. You know, I think Miz was probably the last person, in my opinion, that had a, a good... Well, no, there were some good ones. I think Daniel Bryan's was kind of uh, cut short, too, when he won it, I believe, at WrestleMania 31. Um, there's been some good ones, but not this good. Like, to the point where you're looking forward to Gunther defending the title because the dude is fantastic in the ring, and he comes off like a believable champion. So, let's try to match that... that that prestige with the United States Championship. 
Um, I, I think that could be something that they can do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm all for it if LA Knight wins. All they have to do is just give him some momentum and let him keep that momentum and let him actually win the big match. Because it's been, we get into that point where we want him to win, but he doesn't win the very important matches. This is the time to break that. And if they can do that, they can keep that momentum going. And you never know. We may have another situation where after he's done with the United States Championship run, we may we may end up getting something like a World Heavyweight Championship run, a main event title. If they can keep that momentum going for him, have him win the money, uh, have him win um, the United States Championship from Austin Theory, have him have a good title reign, build him up as a credible top guy, and ultimately when he drops it, I think fans will be, you know, looking forward to seeing what he does next. And maybe, just maybe, we can get him in a main event picture scene. So that's just my opinion on it. I want to get y'all's comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys think LA Knight should go for Austin Theory's United States Championship? Do you guys think that will help him even more, catapult him even more? And, you know, if you guys would be interested in in seeing that matchup, you know, let me know down below what your thoughts and opinions on it. Or do you feel like LA Knight is, you know, I know some people say this <laughs> unironically, but buried. You feel like he's buried from his loss uh, on him not winning money in the bank. Personally, I don't think so. But let me know your thoughts and opinions about this. But I appreciate all the love and support. Vote to 150K and I'm still young to be the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on the next one. Peace.